Component testers are a useful bit of gear and uh, I often use them when I'm pulling components out of the out of the uh, junk box and they have these tiny little uh, labels on them the bands it's hard to read and just as a double check and this is the one I've used for a long time that's been quite good it runs on a 9 volt battery and honestly the battery has lasted for years 50 ohm it's actually a 52 ohm I think um, the other tester which I use for capacitors and inductors is this one um, it's particularly good because the um, it has a zero feature so for small inductors I can uh, put into induction I can zero out the clip lead lengths by zeroing it okay and then I can measure my inductor here and that's a well it's supposed to be 470 micro henry but it's saying 442 so that's probably correct anyway just recently I saw a very nifty looking component tester with a rechargeable battery on the internet I just ordered one and uh, Quite a nice looking device. Bit of a struggle to unbox, but whatever. Very nice looking bit of gear. Very compact, certainly compared to the others. So let's try it out. This is a, uh, a BD139, which um, you might know has uh, uh, <laughs> a different order. It's not uh, CBE or, or what I would normally expect for um, the order of the connections. Okay, so I plug that in. Pushing test turns it on. Uh, the first time it comes on though it doesn't think there's a component there so you have to push it again and now it's running the test and it will give us the beta and the pinouts there we are so C is on 1 E is on 2 and B is on 3 and I have <laughs> wired these up incorrectly in the past okay so that's a transistor that worked nicely let's have a look at our resistor Not super fast. 51.9, yep, I reckon it's 52. Uh, this is a 0.1 microfarad or 100 nanofarad capacitor. Again, not fast. So it's saying 77 nanofarads, I'd expect 100. Uh, it could be, these capacitors are pretty approximate, but um, other testers have said the same thing. And here's an inductor, which I think, now, let's see, let me get this right. That's one and two. It's labeled uh, 470 micro henry. And it's saying 462 microhenry, so that sounds pretty right. I don't know what frequency it measures these things at. Uh, anyway, look, it's a nice little unit, and um, it uh, charges with USB-C, which I think is excellent. Uh, after a while, it just turns itself off. So yeah, look, I think it's um, I think it's a good bit of gear, certainly pocket-sized, and uh, it also has uh, some sort of testing for Zeners, and it has some crazy uh, infrared remote control decoding feature which I have not tried out <laughs> anyway uh, seems to be a good thing uh, not sure how you pronounce the name F-N-I-R-S-I -I, but I'll put a link uh, and it's called an L-C-R-P-1 I'll put a link in the notes underneath